Hi, this is Gilly Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week, I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you. And I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling excited because today our quote of the day is all about momentum. And it goes, successful people keep moving. They make mistakes, but they don't quit by Conrad Hilton. Keeping up momentum is the key to success in any field. But what exactly does this mean? Well, it means that you want to keep moving towards your goals no matter what is happening in your daily life. You still take the time on a daily basis to move towards your dreams. You keep doing something every single day, no matter how big or small, that will move you in the right direction of your goals. You need to maintain some form of momentum every single day. Most of the daily work you do towards your goals will be mundane and boring. But this is the momentum that you need in order to achieve your goals. Not all the way to the top will be exciting. In fact, most of the work will be dull, boring, and some of it may actually be very hard. But this is the foundation that you need to build your dreams upon. I go to run every single day before anyone in my house wakes up. Now, during the coronavirus lockdown, we were not allowed to leave the house. So for a few days, I really did not run until I started using my treadmill desk to get some activity back into my life. Now, I tell you, it was really hard to get moving again because once you are at rest, it is hard to start moving again. But it is important to do something every single day. This is why momentum is so important. Now, I must say that there are days when today when I totally do not have the energy or feel like running. But instead of sleeping till late that day, I just decide to take a walk instead. But this maintains my momentum. The same is true, is true for every single field of life. Once you stop making even the smallest step, it is as if you must start all over again. When you think of an addiction, if you don't keep away from the addictive substance or uh, activity and go completely cold turkey, then your addiction will be back. You always need to maintain some kind of momentum, even in the smallest amount, for you to keep the energy tear there to make sure that you keep up with your goals. Remember the story of the hare and the turtles. When you, we, we all know that the, that the turtle won the race in the end, but it was because he kept up momentum. He didn't stop to rest like the rabbit, the hare did. He just kept on going. Now, speed is never a function when you're looking at your long-term goals but it is the steadiness of action that will ensure you reach the finish line. It is also easier to make slight changes and improvements in your direction when you are already in action. When you are moving, it is much easier to make the changes that you need to make sure that you're right on track with where you want to be. It is important to note that it is just as easy to stay active as it is, as it is not to stay active. The key is persistence, and this is always your choice. All you need are small movements in the right direction to keep up momentum. Now, of course, taking one day off your regimen will not have an immediate negative effect. But when you do not do any movement towards your goal any single day, then what you are actually doing is the opposite, and you are moving yourself away from your goals. And this compounded over time will have a negative effect on the outcome of your life. You need to gather momentum by choosing one task that must be done till completion to achieve your goals and you do it all the way until you complete the task. Now it is best to focus on one task at a time but of course some tasks do not take up all of your time and are spread over a number of months or even years like a university degree or any other study program. So if you feel that you have more time available for you, then you can take on other actions that you know will come in hand towards moving you towards the ideal life of your dreams. But it is essential that you complete all tasks till the end, also on the best side possible. When you leave things open and uncompleted, they block your momentum. They will pull you back to complete them and generally until you complete them, they will eat away at your self-esteem and make you feel unworthy and unhappy with yourself. If you decided to start something as part of your bigger picture, your bigger life picture, then make sure that you complete this task to the end. I remember after finishing my first degree, 
One month later, I gave birth to my eldest daughter, which uh, later was found out to have to be suffering from mental disability. At the time, I started to work on my doctorate at the Institute of Brain Chemistry and Human Nutrition. But with the birth of my eldest daughter with mental disability, it became impossible for me to continue. So I stopped my research and went on to study for a master's degree in immunology, which I thought would be much easier for me to do, but I also didn't complete this. The reason was definitely justified, but I still felt very unhappy with myself. I then moved back to Israel, got a divorce, and went on to study medicine. Of the seven-year program, I finished four and a half years, and then I stopped. I did have all the justification not to continue because of my family's circumstances, which by that time, I already had given birth to my second daughter, who was also suffering from mental disability. So having raising my two special needs children was definitely a justified reason not to complete my studies. But the unfinished studies tore down my self-esteem and I was not happy at all with myself at the time. Until the day when I decided to complete my studies no matter what. I went back to university and finished my second degree. Today I have two of them. And then I went on to complete my doctorate in nutrition. You cannot imagine the feeling I felt when I completed what I set out to achieve. I did not go back to medical school uh, since I believe that nutrition and lifestyle change are the real medicine and medications should be used for emergencies. But in the end, I did complete what I set out to complete. And of course, uh, it did take me much more time and effort than it would have done if I had completed it the first time around. But since I didn't complete it the first time around, I had to do what I had to do. And I, and I did it in order to pick up momentum again and did what I needed to do. So this is how it is with every uncompleted job. If you have something uncompleted, you need to go back and complete it, no matter how much time and effort it will take. If this is, of course, leading you to the life of your dreams, if it is required for you, of you. <laughs> now, a few years ago when I was interviewing Dr. Phil, he said it absolutely perfectly. He said that when you want to eat an elephant, you do it one bite at a time. As I said, you cannot rush things, but you still must maintain some kind of momentum for you to reach success. There will always be times when you can do more, and there will be times when you won't be able to do as much. But believe me, even the smallest action does add up. All trees in nature cannot accelerate their growth, but they do keep growing steadily. Now, the greatest thing about maintaining momentum is that it becomes part of your daily routine. These small or large daily actions become habits, and good habits will ensure your success in any field of life that you wish, that you wish to succeed in. When you make some kind of small improvements on a daily basis, this makes the solid foundation that you need in order for your success to last and become your legacy. So, as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, which tasks have I started that I still need to complete? And which small steps can I take today, this week, this month, and this year that will move me forward towards the life of my dreams? As usual, I recommend writing the question and your answer in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them from time to time and make sure that you are improving your life in the right direction for you. So to finish off, the affirmation of the day is, I have unstoppable momentum all the way to my dream life. I have unstoppable momentum all the way to my dream life. Now, tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because an affirmation has the power to alter and transform your life to the life of your dreams with repetition. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content. I upload it almost every single day. And please visit my website if you're interested in, in improving your health and well-being, thegorilladiet.com. Thank you very much for joining.